Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode because I'm gonna be showing you how to make this awesome closet. Now, this episode is gonna be a little different than my $100 closet that, I, that you guys are probably very familiar with, and if you're not, I'll put a link to that video right here in the description as well. And also, if you guys have ever seen my $1,000 master dream closet. You need to check that out and I'll put a link to that right here as well and also in the description. But this episode is about this closet and the uniquely shaped L shelves that we have in the corner. Now this solves a lot of problems with shelving and how do you use that corner space without wasting any space, right? Well, if you wanna know how I did it, I'm gonna walk you through all of this here in the room. And also if you wanna build it for yourself, I'll put the plans right below and also right here in the video for you. All right, well, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about are these L-shaped shelves. Now, the way I made these is I made a straight long piece and then I used a pocket hole system underneath and underneath there, I basically glued and then screwed it in together. And then what I did here is I created a dado groove. This is a quarter inch into this plywood and this plywood can be picked up at your local hardware store. I used a total, I think of three sheets just to be safe. You might be able to get away with a little less um, if you wanted to, but I would recommend getting at least two sheets, possibly three. Again, my uh, plans will spell out how many you actually need to have, and you can just check that out below. All right, so let me show you underneath and how these are attached, and they're kind of just floating here, and they are very strong, because my son actually has climbed on them, and I told him not to. but. Let me take uh, the camera off and show you underneath on how that looks. Okay, so here are the shelves and we're gonna look underneath here and you can see the pocket holes that I have right here and right here. And now this is wedged up against the wall here. So this is actually uh, two feet, okay, deep because that's how deep my closet is. And the way I installed this into my closet was in a section. So this whole piece was installed and then twisted in and then set, okay? And then I put a backing on it and you can see there's a backing here and that was just to hold everything stable and I found the stud and screwed it into the wall here. Then later on, I attached this top board that goes and spans all the way across. Okay, it goes all the way to here. Okay, so let me show you one more thing. I had to actually put this little strip in because my floor was actually uneven and I needed to support this. Also, my drywall was not perfectly uh, level as well. So I created a notch and I know it's kind of ugly, but no one's ever gonna notice it. And then it goes all the way up and you can see the variance is really small here, but it's really wide down there. So be sure to account for that. All right, the other thing I wanna show you is that these are attached right there with a lip and that finds a stud actually. So those are screwed right into studs. And then this piece right here is also screwed into a stud as well. All right, so here's the top and you can see where I screwed everything in right here. All the way down, there's a box up there. And then we'll just pull out here. You can see it's a pretty simple shelving unit. Really easy to make, you can make it in a weekend. The hardest part, honestly, was just cutting these little dado grooves. These are the dado grooves that you need to cut and you need to cut them on the other side as well. All right, that's probably the hardest part and then everything else was pretty simple. All right, so this is the L shelved closet. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. If you have any questions about this or the construction of it, please post in the comments below. I'm here to help you guys out. And also, if you found this video helpful and really liked it, I'd appreciate you smashing that thumbs up button for me. It lets me know you like these types of videos and also it helps others find this video too. Well, enough with that. Let me just end up talking about this and I know it was a short video. I really just wanted to highlight it because it is a different style closet than I have made in the past. And 
I thought it would be something you like to watch. Well, anyway, if you made it to the end of this video already, I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, till next time. I'll see you later.